Papa. My father worked. Our family ate from what he provided. I went to school. The money my father had, he put almost everything on debt. Before, my family had a lot of debt, and we didn't have enough for food, if we even ate. He drank a lot and smoked a lot, and eventually died from emphysema. We feel bad without him. We felt good with him in our home, very happy. Now, I don't know what to say. I was raised by foster parents, but it wasn't an easy life. Because when I was supposed to go to class, I had to go to work sometimes. In my childhood, I had a mother that I felt very proud of. She knew how to raise me. Thank God she taught me the value of honesty with sincerity. And I can try every day to be better. She's an example for the community. And the beautiful part is that she taught us to respect others. Not all of the community really understands what a university education means. But there's also a very small group that does understand. For example, my family understands what a university education means. If Children of the Nations wasn't here, I would be working for someone in Santo Domingo and not here. I wouldn't have a university education. This community without Children of the Nations would not be moving forward. The only opportunity that it has is Children of the Nations. And right now, this is the open door for development because the hand of the government doesn't intervene here. Thanks to God and Children of the Nations that I have this story that anyone can listen to, that someone helped me, that tomorrow I will be a professional, I will be important to the community. And that's a story everyone will want to hear. Yes, I was very happy when I heard that I was accepted into Children of the Nations. I feel better now, because before I didn't have what I have now. Now I have help. I feel secure with Children of the Nations, and I feel active motivated in school. It's not just one case. Actually, the community has changed. Because before, the children were malnourished. And we're thankful for the food supplied by Children of the Nations. Those children now look healthy. Before, they had yellow hair, but not now. Children of the Nations provides this support. They have a clinic available for the children. That's opening the door for people in the community. It's incredible the work that God is doing with people that are far away to help us. I have a future in front of me. I know that I'm going to study and help my family. I know that I may be small, but I know that one day I will provide for my household and sustain them. We wouldn't be able to do anything here without the sponsors. So thank you so much for helping and sponsoring these children. They really need the sponsorship. This is so big that when one considers that there are people that I don't know, people that are helping us right here to continue growing and developing, despite the great distance between us. When my mother found out I got into university, she jumped. Imagine you get something you never imagined possible. You wouldn't have a way to get it or even imagine it. 
When you get that, you feel like you own the world. You feel proud because it's a realization, an achievement reached, because God has blessed you. Seeing the children and the communities from Children of the Nations five years from now, I would see a complete change. Professional people, people with capacity to reflect and change the community and try to help others. People that will have the opportunity to build their own household and change the way that they are currently living. Raising children who transform nations. When they know that they'll be sponsored, they know that they'll be professionals. And there's joy for them to know, me, tomorrow, I'm going to be a professional. That is the first thing they think of. For example, when a child is sponsored here at age eight or nine, they'll go to their house and say, I have sponsors, I have sponsors. Tomorrow I'm going to be like you. It's a joy. <laughs> I would tell my sponsor in a few words that I love them, that they should continue to help me, and later they will see the result. First of all, thank you. The first thing I'd say is thank you, and that they continue doing it, and continue motivating others so that this can continue growing and we can help others. I have to support others so they can progress as well, so we can help the community. Because working together as a group is better, and alone you cannot do everything that a community needs. Thank you to Children of the Nation for changing my life. Thank you so much.